Okay, uh, I'm going to be demonstrating uh, how to upload a photo using um, the uh, WYSIWYG editor. In this case, it's a CK editor, and we're going to be using it to replace one of these images on the home page of a girlfromjersey.com homepage. So, uh, we just go to uh, the web admin interface and I just have the pages here that you can select from. So I've already gone to manage page content and this is the list. And uh, I just go to home, since that's the page I want to edit, click on edit. This is the CK editor interface and uh, it shows those graphics up top and the content underneath so I just have to edit this content and click save so what I want to do is I want to replace one of these images so I'm gonna replace this image right here so I click on the image you can see it's selected and I'm just the way that I do it I mean there's there's a few different ways you can do it I just hit the delete key on my keyboard I mean, you can right click and you see you have all these uh, elements and you could I guess you could cut the image um, but I just choose to hit the delete key on my keyboard with the image selected and the image disappears now you see the when I did that the table kind of resized these images are in a table it's kind of hard to see on this monitor but they are in a three column table and you see that cursor flashing there the cursor didn't move, it's in the same place, so I just I just want to drop an image right where that cursor is flashing right now. Um, I'm not clicking or doing anything, I just deleted the image. Now I'm going to upload an image into that position. I use this button right here. There's a lot of buttons in CK Editor, so a lot of them you don't use, but one that you do use is the image button. And when you click on the image button, that pulls up this. Uh, screen here which is the properties of an image that we want to put in there and uh, right now I'm, I don't have an image on the server uh, I actually just have it on my computer here but I want to put it on the web server so it'll display in that position so the, this is the method that I like to use um, and then I just click on browse server when you do that it opens up and shows you all the images we have available uh, on the web server. And this, this just gives us a little window here to look at everything that's been uploaded basically. Uh, and We could select any of these images to put into that position, put onto that page. Um, so we don't have to upload an image each time. Um, so you got some question marks for some that's just, you know, these thumbnails, sometimes they didn't get generated, I don't think. But you can tell by the file name underneath what the, what the image is. Uh, so this is what I like to do. And then um, I don't see, I don't have the image on the server, so I won't see it in this list. But you see, I have some buttons up here. Upload, refresh, settings, help. Uh, what you do is you click on Upload. So I'm going to upload an image. Now I get this dialog, select file to upload. So I'm going to click on browse. And then that, you know, lets me browse my computer hard drive uh, to, to, to select an image to upload. So I'm just going to upload this image that I have right here. It's already been resized for that position, 255 by 179 pixels. How do I know that that's the right size? Well. I can uh, go on the home page and I can right click on an image just looking at the website on the home page I go down to properties and it shows me that this image is 255 by 179 that's what I'm replacing so I figure as long as I have an image that's the same exact size uh, nothing's gonna break in the layout so we should be good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and click browse again I'm going to select that image on my computer and I'm going to click uh, down here, I'm going to click open and uh, 
now that's just in there and now, then I have to click so upload selected file once I click that boom the image should uh, get uploaded to the server and it's already selected here uh, in the window so it's underscore new underscore home dot jpeg I know that that's the image that I just uploaded so I'm just gonna double click that oh I'm sorry uh, and back to our CK editor image property screen it now shows me a preview I can type in some uh, alternative text here uh, so and that's a good idea for search engines they like to see some alternative text in case the image doesn't display so I'll just say uh, I'll just say uh, a girl from Jersey home and I like uh, on the home page also I have these little black borders around each image and those were actually created just by going here and just giving the image a border property and I just give it a border property of one and I just say okay and there that image is in place and the last step is to click save now when I hit save uh, I go back to that screen and I'll go back to my website and I'll hit the refresh button and boom that image is in place so that should uh, help you figure out how to upload and replace images on your website.